This tends to worry people. And I can understand. I can strongly understand. Hello, everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. I can understand how, from, from what I hear from some people regarding this subject, how it actually makes them feel uncomfortable. And all this talk about, you know, conspiracy theories, how they could actually use that to spy on you and stuff like that. And I can understand in that sense. To me, when it comes to surveillance cameras on the streets, that's on light posts or, you know, in the, in the, in the intersection, all these different varieties of uh, security cameras, I could understand it. And I do have um, some mixed feelings about it. I don't necessarily think it's all bad, but it can be used for something bad. In my opinion, as far as the good side of it, I could see how that could actually help when a person got mugged, you know, in the middle of the, in the middle of the night or like around 10, 10 30 at night or whatever. And the camera managed to scan that person's face of the um, of the attacker or the person who uh, robbed. And they managed to uh, find out all the information on that person by scanning his face and, and stuff like that. I can see how that's, that's helpful and I'm, and I'm grateful for something like that. And also when there's a, a traffic, um, some kind of a car accident, they're able to see who who was at fault, if it, if something like that was reported, or if someone um, let's just say a hit and run, they could get a they, they could scan the license plate number, they zoom in on it and stuff like that, or if someone were to deliberately smash someone's car on the street and the surveillance camera was actually on that direction, though you know. Again, scan the person's face and also see just basically see the whole thing. In 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 situations like that, it's very helpful and it's very good. However, as far as like conspiracy theories, when they um from rumors of of the government spying on people because of uh, something that they know or or something ha having to do with them being a conspiracy theorist and they're being watched and monitored, you know, monitored and stuff like that. And seeing them as a potential threat that they need to actually spy on them. I mean, I could see how that could actually be true I don't know for sure if it is, 
you know, to that degree, maybe it's, maybe it's exaggerated, maybe it's not. If there is some truth to it, I'm, I mean, I guess it depends on the case. It, it depends on the person that they're spying on or whatever. If, if, if that person's a criminal, then, you know, it's one thing. But, um, I do find it a little bit intrusive. Some people say that, well, it's necessary. Well, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand it's necessary sometimes, but the fear of what some people believe that, that they're spying and monitoring everybody, it sounds a little bit kind of, um, I don't know, it's, 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 it's kind of far out to me, but, um, it, it's just, it's just something that I'm just trying to wrap my head around. I could see, I could, I could understand strongly how something like that could be intrusive. I mean, especially I find out now that even in, um, Hotel rooms, or I'm sorry, motels, in um, also as well. But like in motels, uh, I heard from one person and one particular video that they actually have microphones and hidden cameras inside the motel rooms. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's for the same particular reason you know, to catch criminals or to do whatever and things like that. I could understand how that could actually be helpful. But I don't know. I just To me, it just seems kind of like invasion of privacy. Very intrusive. And it does make me feel uncomfortable. Of course, they, they wouldn't care. They don't care about, you know, a particular couple that's going in there and they're having, you know, they're making love or, or this and that. If the camera's recording all that, they don't they don't really care about that. All they care about is focusing on a particular person doing a particular thing. But I still kind of find it a little bit uncomfortable and intrusive anyway. But that's just how I feel. I can understand how it's necessary to use and can it be um, used for sinister purposes? Yeah, of course. I believe that. I believe it's, I believe it's possible that it be that it should be used for um, you know sinister purposes if, if the if the so called government is really really that crooked or or if there's like rogue elements within the government that it's, that's that's um, up to no good or whatever the case may be. I mean, everybody has their own theories, their own ideas about how it is, you know, how they do what they do. Now, whether that's really true or not, to that extent, is basically open to debate, in my opinion. But it does raise a concern. But I think the worst thing that anybody can do is worry about it 24-7 you know, to really get extremely paranoid. I mean, I don't think there's any need to get that scared, in my opinion. Yeah, it does draw a concern. It should be, there should be a concern, but not to the point where someone is saying, oh my God, they're watching me. They're, they're doing, they're watching every, my, my every move just because uh, I talk a lot about how crooked this certain politician is, or, or or I was talking about UFOs about with this person, or I'm talking about you know something having to do with uh, with the government in that in that sense. I mean, someone being that paranoid just because they're they're talking about certain subjects. I mean, I mean, come on, that's I think that's taking it too far. But then I don't know. I basically want to know what you people think. Do you think it raises a concern? 
should be should there be a a very serious concern for it, or do you think um, it might be a little bit exaggerated, or I don't know what what whatever the case is. I am interested to know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.